All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sanko here. Welcome back to the channel. Got a whole bunch of good crypto news stuff for you. And the first thing that I want to talk about is the scaling of Ethereum is coming soon. It is a layer two solution. Not too many people are talking about it. It's called Optimism, and it's been around for quite a while in development. So once again, it's a layer two solution uh, that has to be applied by the developers of DAP. So it's not just going to be like an immediate upgrade or a fork or something like that to the blockchain. This is something that developers have to add themselves. And one of those big uh, main developers that will be adding it will be Uniswap. And we'll get into that in just a moment. So basically Optimism, again, a layer two solution uh, that will allow a much higher transaction rate, similar to Lightning Network in a way, but definitely not as complicated. And uh, this should be coming within a couple weeks. And this is coming at a very, very good timing uh, because basically Ethereum uh, fees right now, the gas fees are absolutely outrageous. I think I seen one time on Uniswap a 1000 guai, uh, basically gas fee uh, for a transaction. But typically, I mean, we're looking at $50 plus per transaction on Uniswap. And that's for a number of reasons that not that's not necessarily just to send Ethereum across a blockchain. What happens when you do Uniswap is basically you uh, send Ethereum, it gets wrapped into wrapped Ethereum, and then you actually send it to somebody and then that gets sent back to you the token that you purchase so it's kind of a complicated thing and there's a whole bunch of steps in it and that'll work a lot better on a uh, on a layer two solution so scaling coming to ethereum in march optimism announces mainnet launch so once again been around for a while but just now starting to really come out fans are celebrating the news that ethereum scaling solution optimism is now set to launch on the na uh, the network's mainnet next month ahead of schedule um, so mainnet in March, scaling is coming to Ethereum, commented Set Protocol product marketing manager Anthony Sassano on the latest announcement by Optimism. The team said that they'll be launching arbitrary contract deployment on mainnet in March instead of public testnet with details to follow. Uh, so layer one is the base protocol, the Ethereum blockchain, while layer two is any protocol built on top of Ethereum. Optimism is a layer two scaling solution, which allows uh, for the Ethereum mainnet to be unburdened by the great number of transactions it has to process. It uses optimistic rollups to achieve lower fees and latency, as well as greater throughput compared to Ethereum layer one alone. The team behind Optimism was funded by venture firm A6 in Drayson Howitz back in November around that enabled the latest Optimism hires and with them ex expedited their timeline. I'm not sure if people realize how huge of a deal this is. Moving from layer one Ethereum to optimistic rollups is like going from dial up to broadband. Um, Redditor said, uh, adding that layer two solutions are likely to have a great impact uh, on the end user than Ethereum 2.0. No more crazy gas fees, no more waiting for transactions to get mined. Furthermore, unlike the already existing layer two solutions, some of which are side chains of Ethereum, some state channels uh, either prompting centralized questions or, or unable to scale smart contracts, Optimism uses rollups, much praised by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. He said that uh, that rollups will be the dominant scaling paradigm for at least a couple of years. Rollups on top of sharding for F2.0. So rollups is a scaling technique that keeps transaction data on chain in a compressed form with the computation pushed off chain, leaving the computation such as signature verification, contract execution, zero knowledge, proof execution, and others to be ver verified in a ZK rollup or optimistic rollup. These would theoretically allow more transactions per second, thousands compared to the current tens. Uh, once phase one of Ethereum 2.0 is introduced, the number will go as high as as 100,000 TPS, Buterin suggested. So, um, protocols trying to integrate optimistic rollups now include Uniswap. So, this is an article that was written just a little while ago, um, whose native token we just listed in Synthetics. In 2019, Uniswap released a test. Uh, a testnet called Unipig, which runs on optimistic rollup. The solution purportedly facilitated around 250 transactions per second. That's 
uh, that's opposed to basically Ethereum's uh, to, to 15, 20, 25 now. Uh, it may be a little bit higher that they added that they since they increased uh, the the gas limit. But uh, other, aside from that, it's uh, maybe two, three times as fast as Bitcoin tops. Um, <clears throat> So facilitated around 200 trans uh, 250 transactions per second at no gas cost. Uniswap undergoing scaling is crucial, uh, and we certainly know this because Uniswap related transactions make up a large percentage of the gas consumed by Ethereum users each day. Which I think Uniswap is officially the highest gas uh, usage contract at the moment. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on that. I, you you can just simply Google it, and there's a there's a list of like what is using the current uh, most gas on Ethereum. Um, but as I said, it, it's no joke. Uh, if you haven't used Uniswap and you're going to say, oh, I'm going to spend a couple hundred dollars and, uh, of Ethereum and uh, I'm going to buy some new token that came out, some project, uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, because it's basically going to be minimum like $50 for the first transaction. I've seen it upwards as high as 100 a few hundred dollars for a single transaction. Uh, that's just to get the token. And then later, if it goes up in price uh, and you want to sell it, you got to do it again and then get your Ethereum back off. Uh, so it's it's unbelievable um and it's probably why uh honestly cardano is moving along so fast um it's another reason why cardano's tokens and later on will come smart contracts for um for cardano so i don't believe uh, any DeFi can actually be made on it yet um and th this is probably one of the reasons too that ethereum is progressing very quickly and that this optimistic rollouts came out very quickly because it's absolutely unsustainable the the, the gas fees on ethereum at the moment uh, so there's ZK Rollups, which was recently integrated into the decentralized cr uh, crowdfunding platform Gitcoin. Others are working on integrating the technology as well. Individuals like Jeremy Allaire, the CEO of uh, Circle, is excited about ZK Rollups. With the Ethereum Istanbul hard fork, zero knowledge rollups are now possible and will allow layer two scaling on Ethereum, supporting upwards of 3,000 transactions per second, larger than Visa, while maintaining decentralization and privacy it's a big win for f based stable coins he says and pretty much ethereum in general optimistic rollups are pertinent because optimism a team working on the solution has dropped hints that a test net is coming sunday fun day no rest for the test net a september 20th tweet from the team read so this was a little bit so this article was written a little bit while ago uh it's worth noting that uh that not all think rollups are the best option for scaling DeFi, at least in their current uh, iteration so um, this will be coming, I believe I've heard March 15th, so in about two weeks. And once again, this isn't just going to be like uh, as soon as March 15th comes that this is just like a um, like people are updating their Ethereum nodes or something like that. Or this is just this hard fork or even a soft fork, whatever. It's nothing like that. Um, the 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 developers who run the dApps need to actually apply this software to it, the optimistic rollups, and then therefore it'll be a layer two solution. So it doesn't just happen automatically, but Uniswap is one of the one of the people that are going to be basically doing this pretty much immediately, uh, which is definitely needed immediately because the, the fees are just absolutely outrageous on Ethereum. I mean, if you thought Bitcoin fees were bad, particularly in 2017 when they were like the highest, it would cost you $20, $30 uh, per transaction. Um, it, it, it's blown that completely out of the water. But it just goes to show how uh, how important Ethereum is for the ecosystem and how, how much people are actually trying to use it. So once that is gone, just imagine the ability to use DeFi for basically anybody in the world, uh, like Uniswap. Um, it'll, it'll be, uh, 2021 is going to be a wild ride, guys. Uh, plain and simple. Doge is now supported at 1,800 ATMs in 45 US states. So just some interesting news here. F uh, famous meme crypto Dogecoin can now be accessed through 1,800 ATMs across the United States. Leading Bitcoin ATM provider CoinFlip announced its support for Dogecoin on March 1st, with the company's CEO and co-founder uh, attributing the move to Doge's recent popularity and recent mass adoption. On February 4th, the crypto's price rose 25%. Uh, within minutes after Tesla and SpaceX founder Elon Musk posted a rocket going to the moon, adding Doge in the comments, because that's apparently all he has to do to raise the price of a cryptocurrency 25% and then make it go hyperbolic. So, hey, uh, pretty cool world, right? Uh, again, crypto, it's a wild ride, guys. 
Uh, but it, just some interesting news that they're being added to ATMs. These ATMs typically have a really high margin on them, very very high fee or something like that. And it's just, um, but fair enough. Moving on to some more not so pertinent but interesting news. 20 Bitcoin block rewards from 2010 moved today, and mystery miners spent 400 million in BTC since Black Thursday. So uh, since mid March. Um, Bitcoin.com, my favorite news website. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that my favorite website in the world is Bitcoin.com. But either way, we'll, we'll move past that. Has been on the trail for an old school Bitcoin miner that has been spending large strings of 2010 block rewards. A block reward, the incentive for the Bitcoin miner to find a block, um, were 50, back in the day, were 50 BTC per block. Further, the technical term spend or spent simply means the owner moved the coins, but it doesn't necessarily mean the Bitcoins were sold to another owner. A report on Saturday had shown that there were 80 block rewards from 2010 that were spent this year. Interestingly, 40 block rewards from 2011 days also got spent in 2021 as well. On Sunday, February 28th, following our uh, last report, the whale miner once again moved another 20 block rewards from 2010 um, at the block height 60, uh, 672,000, yada, yada. It's assumed the mystery miner is seeking attention. Our last study also mentioned the mega whale or group of whales that have been spending these 20, um, 2010 blocks in strings of 20 blocks per transfer since mid-March. So basically all the strings use the same exact pattern of spending in concessions of 20 consecutive decade old blocks. So somebody basically was a big miner in 2010 and they're moving 20 blocks of Bitcoin at a time. So essentially 20 times 50, basically a thousand Bitcoin at a time um, for whatever reason, um, nobody knows. But um, I just thought that was interesting news. Uh, not that it's my Bitcoin or your Bitcoin, but hey, um, old Bitcoin is sort of interesting. Any Bitcoin that's moved from 2000 2009 or 2010 is uh, is a bit of an interesting story that somebody could have hodled that long or forgot about them. But in this case, obviously, somebody didn't forget about it, but rather is moving exact amounts of Bitcoin. Just a little strange. Uh, moving on to possibly big news. PayPal to buy Curve, a crypto custody firm. So PayPal is reportedly buying the Curve crypto custody firm with price estimates ranging between 200 and 500 million dollars. Woo! And I love that money. Uh, the Curve acquisition is the latest in a series of moves indicating PayPal's interest in cryptocurrencies. The payment processing giant enabled crypto purchases in Q4 2020, raising the buy limits from 10,000 to 15,000. They had to do that because it was so popular that uh, basically people couldn't even buy an entire Bitcoin at that price, so they had to raise it to 15,000. Um, and due to the unforeseen demand, they had to raise that up. Uh, PayPal recently announced that it would extend crypto buying and selling to the United Kingdom and Venmo users in 2021. And PayPal's crypto offering has been somewhat limited with users having no control over their private keys. It'll be interesting to see what case the company has for Curve, a custody firm that handles the storage of digital assets. Curve raised $23 million last year to continue serving institutional demand for Bitcoin and Coinbase Ventures and Digital Currency Group among uh, the investors. Major DeFi protocol Compound also integrated Curve last year, making PayPal's new acquisition a serious player in crypto custody. So they're essentially getting Compound as well with the purchase of Curve, which is a little weird. Uh, so news of the acquisition has met with excitement in the crypto community. In fact, some investors appear to have bought the wrong crypto in their haste as the unrelated CRV token has seen a price spike following the announcement. Whoops. Uh, Curve DAO token CRV is up 24% at the time of writing. The situation is reminiscent uh, of the recent Signal Advanced stock pump that uh, happened after Elon Musk told his followers to use the private messaging app Signal, with many investors flocking to the unrelated stock and increasing the price by 1100%. Another whoopsie. But this could be interesting in the future um, as Curve is a big custody. So right now, PayPal uses uh, another custody service to hold their Bitcoin. So as you pile money in, their custody service has to hold more Bitcoin, even though you can't really get the Bitcoin, so it doesn't make sense. But they have, a, have to have a custody service. Um, and so that's essentially a third party. So what I think is going on here is that they may actually want to get into the ability to uh, hold people's crypto themselves and therefore allow you to have 
a private key and a public key, or at least just a public key, so you can put it on there and remove it like an exchange and be able to send it to other users, perhaps. Uh, and with the acquisition of Curve, they would be able to do that. Now, uh, I think it might be just a coincidence that Compound also integrated into Curve, so they're essentially buying that integration as well. Um, who knows what they're going to be doing with that? Um, perhaps in the future, they could use some kind of DeFi or something on PayPal, but for now, I think that might be just uh, a coincidence, or perhaps it may be just um, they wanted Curve, but it also comes with this nice thing. So they're like, okay, I'll buy it. So it's basically like going and getting a used car, and you're like, yeah, it's a good used car. And they're like, well, it's got a really great sound system in it, too. And you're like, well, I only needed the car, but that sound system's quite the bonus. Who knows? Moving on to coin market cap here, $1.5 trillion market cap. It's technically 1.497, but eh, so we lost about 2 billion since the last video I made yesterday as we were at uh, 499 billion. So only 1 billion away from 1.5, but I'm just rounding, rounding's easy and funner. 48,688 Bitcoin, things coming back to life a little bit after that stock dip, uh, after everybody bought the bonds from the Federal Reserve in preparation for the stimulus package. But that's another thing too, to keep out, uh, to keep uh, your eye on. Uh, the American stimulus package uh, is likely to be voted on uh, in mid-March and possibly the stimulus checks could be beef just before April or during April. But that's assuming that Congress doesn't, uh, you know, stop the stimulus package. Uh, Congress has been pretty notoriously crap uh, for the past year on these whole stimulus things uh, with the COVID deal. But it's a particularly big one. It's $1,400 per person, um, and there's some stipulations on it. But basically, everybody gets $1,400. If you're married, you get $2,800. If you have kids, you get an additional $1,400 per child, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, the last time we had a major stimulus package, and I'm not going to count the $600 one because I suppose you could, but uh, during the first $1,200 stimulus package, that was around April or something, 2020, uh, Coinbase actually reported uh, that the number of deposits onto the website in terms of US dollars uh, equaling $1,200 exactly went up by something like 300%. It was something like 1% uh, of the, of all their, or 0.1% de of all their deposits. And then all of a sudden it went to 0.4% of all their deposits, something along like that. So it went up like three or four X, um, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's quite the coincidence that a whole bunch of $1,200 stimulus checks. Now those $1,200 stimulus checks are worth a very significant amount of money as Bitcoin since has pretty much uh, 10x from there. Ethereum has gone up even more than that, although currently at $1,500, not so much. But when it was at 2,000, um, it was more like 15x or something like that. So that's quite a bit of money. So we should expect a, a slight rise in the price of cryptocurrency or at the very least some additional people investing uh, the additional money that they'll be receiving. But that's all I have for you guys now. Uh, make sure you subscribe like share the video that helps me out a lot my social media in the description below give me a follow on those if you get the opportunity to do so uh, but as usual i'll see you guys next time